Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have an incredibly exciting video for you. As you can probably see, this is my first ever Darling Beads unboxing. I saw a couple of people do the videos for this and I thought the beads just looked so fantastic and beautiful. I had to sign up. And I love my bargain bead box, but I get it so far after everyone else, I didn't see the point in unboxing that anymore. So I needed to do a different unboxing for you guys. So this is 29 euros a month. Um, I think that's plus shipping, but I do think it works out just to be about 30 pounds a month for me, um, which is absolutely fine with the amount of products that I've seen in the box. It still works out to be less than a pound or just over a pound per strand or per bag of stuffs. So I really do think like from the videos I've seen it's worth it. It really didn't take long to get to me. I think it took maybe two or three days, um, which was fantastic. So without further ado, let's get into the box or into the bag and see what we have. Oh, I love that look, thank you. I wish I could reuse that sticker. Let's have a look. So this is our list. We have 21 items in here. It's called Troll Forest. That sounds really exciting because I really like my um, foresty themes and I, I do love nature. And we've got some moss agate in here. They have a little fact sheet on the back with the metaphysical properties, which is really nice. I will give that a little read later. I feel like that would be a bit long to read out to you. <laughs> so, with my thing to one side, I'm going to unwrap this. Oh, those are some really nice, warm colours. Lovely. I'm going to sort out these bags and we will come right back. So I have sorted out the bags and it, let's get in and have a look. Bag number one. We have 12 pieces of 12 by 10 millimeter smoke topaz glass birch leaves. And these are beautiful and even better for me anyway, is the hole goes straight through the middle. And even though I like all glass beads, like all the glass leaves that you can get, I do find it a lot harder for some reason, I'm not sure why, to use them if the hole is top drilled. But this long drill I should quite easily be able to use these and they are very pretty. Little etched design on both sides as well. They aren't always etched on both sides. So I'm very pleased to have those. Bag number two is a 20 centimeter strand of six millimeter natural moss agate. And these are very pretty. Look at those beautiful greens. There's some clearer one with a lot of green in. Some brighter greens, some darker greens. Those are beautiful. Can't wait for those. We'll find a use for those. Bag number three is a 40 centimeter strand of Four millimeter golden glass bicones, and these are gorgeous. Very, very sparkly and pretty. We go into the middle here. Can we? Can I show you that cut? Come on. We go into the middle. Looks like a pretty good cut. Doesn't look sharp. Like it's going to cut your thread. It looks pretty good. lovely and like I say they're very sparkly and very pretty look at that sparkle they are gorgeous bag number four is 10 pieces of 18 by 14 red glass foxes oh oh how cute oh they look like little oh I didn't change them <laughs> they look like little gummy foxes they are so cute they're top drilled. Be a little chunk or something. They are adorable. I love that. So cute. And we've got 10 pieces of those. Awesome. They are beautiful. I'm very pleased with those as well. So cute. Put those 
down. Puts bags one side and strands them at the <laughs> Next up we have bag five. This is 20 meter strand of red ligon berries round glass beads. And they look like they are draw branch um, glass beads. And they're very pretty, they're very bright. I, w I wouldn't have said they were red, I would have said they were orange, but there's nothing wrong with that. I just wouldn't use them with these colours. I don't think I'd use them in something else. But they're very beautiful and I love the patterning on them. I definitely find something to use them with. Very pretty. Lovely. Bag number six is 20 meter strand of 8 millimeter natural, natural moss agate. So we've got some more moss agate, which is really nice. I do like to have it in different sizes, and then I can make a lovely bracelet or necklace alternating the two with those. Beautiful. Again, a lovely selection of greens and clears and all of that. And that's another beautiful strand. Next is bag 7. This is 30 pieces of 6mm Czech Fire Polish Dark Green Round Beads and they are beautiful. They have like a vintage look to them. But that green just comes through. In the bag they didn't look that great <laughs> but when you take them out of the bag they look beautiful. They will go really nicely with something. Really nicely with this moss agate I think. You can do something incredibly beautiful with that. And with these orange, it does go quite nicely with this orange. Reflects oranges in the green there. Beautiful. They are gorgeous. And very, again, nicely cut there on the whole. Not sharp. Beautiful. Next up we have bag number eight. This is a seven and a half by seven and a half millimeter AB plated faceted bicones in dark green. And I don't think I've ever worked with bicones this big before, but they are gorgeous. Look how the sparkle on those. So shiny and pretty. Pretty good cut too. It's a little bit sharper than other stuff but oh, they are gorgeous I definitely can't wait to use those those go with those that dark green beautifully the AB finish on there helps reflect the same oranges and such gorgeous very pleased with those bag number nine is ten pieces of Czech maple leaves in red autumn colors and indeed they are they look beautiful Again, they are drilled straight through, so that's very pleasing for me. That's exactly what I like. And I can't wait to try something with these. These are gorgeous. Very different, and lots of different selection there as well. They are beautiful. I do love me getting some pressed glass shapes. They would go very nicely together in something. Mix the leaves up, they would. Beautiful. Next up we have bag number 10. And this is a 36 centimeter strand of four millimeter fusted round glass beads clear. And that's just to add a bit of sparkle, I would imagine. But gosh, wouldn't it? Look how beautiful they are. So sparkly and gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Let's go into the middle here. The average cut, I believe. It looks fairly rounded. Doesn't look a fairly good cut, actually. Beautiful. I'm always using clear bicones to add a bit of sparkle in stuff, so they will definitely come in handy. <coughs> Excuse me. Next up is a 42 centimeter strand a 4 by 3 millimeter half golden plated faceted rondelles in sienna wow they are so different i don't have i've not had anything like that before it's a mix of the two colors i think no 
they're half plated they're beautiful I really really like these I can't wait to use those they will look nice with these green ones they look really nice with these golden colour they look lovely with that because of the gold these are beautiful I've not had a colour quite like that before I can't wait to use that I can't wait to use any of this to be honest it's all beautiful, so stunning next it is flag number 12 and this is 40 pieces of 4mm 4mm Czech Drugs grey green with light Picasso finish let's have a look at these oh wow they're so different they're beautiful they look like little stones they are beautiful I like really really like the Picasso art finish on those beautiful absolutely stunning very pleased very very pleased <laughs> and finally for the beads part we have 12 pieces of 8 by 16 check twist beads and dark topaz with a light travertine finish and wow again these are stunning top drilled so they make brilliant drops and won't they make such stunning drops oh they are gorgeous I really <laughs> again I really really like these these are stunning I've never had anything like this absolutely beautiful I cannot wait to get in with this box and start using everything everything in this box is just stunning now what's a big box without some chain I'm not going to take it out this is bag number 14 as you see and it is a 4 by 3 millimeter oval chain and antique bronze and that looks like our theme antique bronze which I really like actually I prefer that to gold um, I just don't like the bright gold look I really love the antique bronze look so this could this is a really good box for me to start out on next is bag number 15 this is 12 pieces of 13 by 7 antique bronze pine cones and they're a little weighty they're quite nice actually like the you know they're there they don't feel flimsy like they're going to just crush or break they're very solid and very pretty I, I honestly can't wait to get into this they, everything looks so nice that's, they're beautiful again I've not had charms like these before I can't wait to get in and use them I probably will make some sort of charm bracelet or some sort of full necklace next up we have bag number 16 and this is two pieces of antique bronze flower connectors in 35, 34 and a half by 28mm they're very pretty, it looks like they go this way up or maybe the other way if you want to do three down to one which is what I might do actually then we have the hole there I get this would be a good piece of breed embroidery they aren't double sided but you could quite easily rectify that by popping the two together if you wanted to like that just matching them up but I would probably use these for something else they're quite light so they would make lovely earrings but lovely they are beautiful they're very nice bag number 17 this is six pieces of 42 by 8 millimeter iron filigree bead cones and antique bronze and I'll be honest I've always wanted to try something like this I've never tried these before because I find the filigree beads or spacer beads that you can get discolour really quickly so I've never tried anything like this but I'd love to give this a go and let you know how they work out I mean that would make a lovely pair of earrings just on its own with those I think yeah I'm very excited to use those something different for me beautiful and bag number 18 this is two pieces of flower chandeliers 34 by 88 millimeter and antique bronze again a lovely pair of earrings with those oh they are double sided or kind of double sided so they have sort of a pattern so really they would make perfect earrings I would love to bead a fringe from there I think 
maybe glue some gems in there perhaps but they are very nice different as well bag number 19 oh what is this three pieces clasps in antique bronze oh blimey oh wow look at that that's amazing I've never seen a clasp so big before that's great I would use this maybe at the front rather than at the back make a feature out of it but that's stunning I really like that we have this one. Oh, look at this there's a giant lobster clasp with a heart in it that's so pretty oh I really like that I really like this idea of having different kinds as well that's great I like that and then we've got this one which isn't double sided but it's a slightly smaller one and that's still just as pretty but I'm amazed with this big one I can't wait to use that I want to make a features necklace with that feature necklace with that. and that's that one next is bag 20 this is 30 pieces of 6 by 5 millimeter antique bronze bead caps which is pretty self-explanatory a little flower shape which is ideal for our forest theme and they are very pretty quite sturdy like if I give them a squish they aren't squishing with my fingers and they will look beautiful on our beads here stunning very pleased and these ones I won't get out of bag 21 antique bronze three millimeter round spacers which as we know I love to have some spaces on hands because it helps fill it out without using all your lovely beads up and that is this selection this is my first time getting this box as I said but I'm very impressed with my first box I must say I've seen nothing but good things personally about this box and I'm very pleased I'm ecstatic that I went for this box I love the fact that they give you three different types of clasps rather than just three of the same I love that they give you more than one gemstone types that are gemstone size so you can mix the two together I, I just love this box I'm, I'm I'm not too sure on this strand I might try and find something to use it with but that's if you take this out this, this is perfect the way it is I really love this this is maybe a little bit out of place as well but I love them so <laughs> they're staying but this is the only thing I feel is kind of out of place maybe if they were um, a different colour like more red or even if they were a green one perhaps but either way I'm very pleased with the box I'm going to continue getting this box and unboxing it for you and I will come back with ideas for you as well thank you for watching this video take care now Bye-bye then.